All right, all right, welcome back. My name is Mark Hong and I'm the founder of MarkHong.com. So in this video, let's talk about some common traps that you need to avoid when you're working with China. Okay, so here are something as a reminder and for you to be aware of. First of all, okay, if you are sourcing from Alibaba or any of the sourcing sites, okay, these sourcing sites are simply a directory. Okay, so you need to make sure that you have covered your due diligence. Okay, and uh, you have um, you know gone through the necessary process such as quality control, audit your supplier, and uh, uh, take the delivery and make sure that you have the proper system and pro process in place to make sure. Okay, that you will have a smooth transaction, smooth working uh, with your supplier. Now, also, this is uh, one of the things that is very misleading. Uh, a lot of people say, yeah, you know, go on Alibaba, find a gold supplier. But remember, gold supplier is only a paid status. Okay, so anybody who can pay a little bit of money can get that gold status, right? Take for instance, if you are opening a shop, a brick and mortar store, right? You will have to pay rent. You will have to do, you know, you have to sign a lease, do this and do that, right? You have to do credit check, okay? But um, you know, with Alibaba, you all you gotta do is just pay, and you get that gold status, right? It's much much cheaper than starting off a brick and mortar business, unfortunately. So even for the scanner, uh, the scammers, they know that. Right, so they can simply just say, you know what? There are tons of people out there. Let me just get a gold status and start my own business. Okay, so be be aware of that. Okay, um, always always verify your supplier. So now sellers, okay, on Alibaba usually also list their prices much much lower. Okay, than the actual selling price. So. so don't be surprised and don't do your research, okay, based on the price that you see on Alibaba. Always, always get that quotation first, okay. Um, I know that uh, some people, okay, they will intentionally use the price they see on Alibaba and go negotiate with their suppliers and hoping, um, or even maybe not hoping, but then thinking that, you know, somebody's ought to sell me for that price. And that usually is uh, it's a lot of trouble, okay? Those that will tell you yes are usually not going to be able to fulfill them, right? Any, any experienced supplier, I mean, you know, I can just basically take uh, um, any product out there that, um, you know, whether it's electronics, textile, or, um, you know, some consumer consumable product and give me, you know, about a minute, I can pretty much uh, tell you what the cost of the goods will be, right? Because I have dealt with all the raw materials and then all the, uh, up, you know, upstream supplier. So I know, you know, to what is the selling price, you know, what's a, what's something that's sellable, what can be done, what cannot be done, right? So for most of the suppliers, most of manufacturer, they have the ability, okay? So um, trying to lowballing them is not going to get you anywhere, okay? So be careful with that. And, um, you know, and also another thing is you want to avoid the brand name trap, okay? And that comes in many different forms. For example, someone will tell you, yes, um, you know, uh, we manufacture for, um, you know, this, uh, you know, whatever brand, right? Whether it's JBL or whether it's, uh, um, you know, Apple, whatever, right? Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, okay, with all this, you know, international or national brands, okay, who buy in large and bold volumes, they have very, very strict contract, okay? And uh, their suppliers will not, under any circumstance, okay, sell their products to you, okay? Even if they just modify a little bit, okay? It just does not happen, okay? I mean, think about it, right? I mean, why would they do that? Right? If they lose an order 
from you know one of this national brand that means their business will go out of business right and they would not they will not take that kind of chance okay so if somebody is offering a deal okay telling you that you know they can do this and do that right because they have some back door to you know to to some national brand and whatnot okay that's usually a trap okay so beware with that okay and also another thing is you'll find that uh, in china they are actually um uh, many of the suppliers have some unscrupulous employees okay so you know they might be working for company a right and uh, on the back they will make a deal with the company you know xyz and uh, you know they will say hey you know yeah we you know um I can get you a much better deal somewhere else or you know this is something like uh, yeah we um, you know we are the same company and then your order will be placed with XYZ instead of ABC right so that kind of stuff happened quite a bit unfortunately okay so be aware of that and make sure that you don't fall into that trap so whoever you contact whoever you work with make sure it's the same company that you work with if the company uh, if the employee leaves the company okay um then you want to work with someone else in the same company not through um ex-employee or something okay so i hope that helps and uh that's it for this video and i'll see you on the next lesson and we will talk about protecting your payments